Hey everyone, it is your girl, Boss Lady Lexi, coming in on a, another Q&A, Get to Know Me. First, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified and leave a positive comment in the comment section. And finally, give this video a thumbs up. A thumbs up. Okay, Q&A time. What is something that you've never done that I've always wanted to do? Hmm. <sighs> Something that I've never done that I've always wanted to do, and that is run two miles or run a marathon. I've always wanted to do that, but I was never fit and healthy enough to do that, so it never got done. But it is something that I always keep in the back of my mind of something that I want to do. And then it backpacks, piggybacks and says, why haven't I done it? And it's because I have bad knees. I've always been fat. I've always, I couldn't even run one mile around the track, okay? I might can make it half and then be, <sighs> so that's why. Question three, if money didn't matter, what would your dream job be? My dream job has always been to run a hotel. Always. I always said if I had the money that I would invest in a high-end hotel. Um, I've always wanted to do one. Um, and it didn't have to be like a big, big, big hotel. I would say something with like maybe 40 rooms. Um, but I really would like them all to be like suites. Um... That type of um, thing because I want people to be comfortable, feel comfortable. I want them to feel like they are away from home, home away from home. So that would definitely be my dream job. It's still in the back of my mind. I'm still looking forward to doing it one day. So be on the lookout. Um, if you had off from work today, what would you do? Sleep sleep and I'm gonna say it one more time sleep I love to sleep I guess because I'm so boring I don't have any friends you know that's here locally um that I can hang out with and I'm not a party person or anything like that so I will say sleep and watch YouTube videos the next question is what was the last thing that made you cry Mm. Y'all, this was the best tea I've ever made. Um, the last thing that made me cry was the video that I did a few days ago when I was talking about how the system failed me. The system failed me big time, and I struggle with that every single day, every day. So I am an advocate to reach out to children, or even adults, if you are being abused in any kind of way, Tell somebody, um, let them know, because it's not cute at all. Let these abusers, let these um, people that are hurting you, let them pay the price for your hurt. You shouldn't have to say something, say something, say something. What is my biggest fear? Oh, I skipped some, sorry. But I'm going to go to that one since I said it. My biggest fear is bugs. I can't stand them little creatures. I don't care what it is. Now, I can deal with, like, little ants. They don't bother me. I can deal with flies and bees because I can swat them. But anything other than that, mm-mm. A sister's not having it. Not, not, not in this lifetime, nor any other lifetime, okay? Um, what was the last thing that made me laugh? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Sorry, y'all. I don't know. Okay, what was the last thing that really embarrassed me? <laughs> that day 
I was at the pool that I talked about a couple of days ago, how I fell and couldn't um, get in the pool, and I was, I still got the big old bruise and swelling to talk about it. Oh, well, I can say that was my last biggest laugh, too, because I laughed about it. Okay, on to the next question. Oh, gosh, come on. Do I have any regrets? Yes, I do. One of my regrets is being fat. One of my regrets is being called ugly and it has scarred me. Another regret is not pushing myself when I was younger to really not be abused and really go after the system and let them know that, hey, I'm being physically abused. I I don't know how many beatings I got, y'all. I can't I can't tell y'all because I don't. It was just that many. Um, have you ever broken any laws? And if you haven't, what law would you break? Well, everybody has ran a red light, so I'm gonna go with that one. Ran a red light. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't want to be sitting at them long lights, especially if you know that light's long. Yes, I would have to say I ran a red light. What is one of the craziest things I've ever done? <laughs> one of the craziest things that I've ever done was probably dyeing my hair all different colors um, to try to find my identity of who I am. Um... That, 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 that's probably it because it's hard when you're young to find your identity. And at 52, I still haven't. Girl, you better ooh, roll that thing back. You ain't no 51. I mean, 52, you're 51. Girl, you better get it right. Get it right and get it tight. Yeah. Okay. Um. What would you have, would I have a, com would you have a conversation with a stranger? Yes, I would. Because I, I always say hi to people whenever I see them. Um, I walk past them, I'm like, hello, or open up the door. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? I mean, it's just, to me, common courtesy of showing that you have manners to speak to people. So I always speak to strangers. Would you tell a stranger that they have toilet paper hanging from their shoe? Yes. Yes, I would. And if you had toilet paper stuck up your dress or something like that, or out of your dress of your skirt, absolutely. I have such a sore eye, y'all. I be telling people, oh, you have something on the back of you. Let me get it off. Because I would want someone to tell me, but a lot of times they don't. So, that's just me. Um... I don't have, it says, what is your favorite joke? I don't have one. I don't have one at all. Are you a dog or a cat person? Not a cat, because I'm allergic to a whole lot of cats. But I could say if I wanted a little dog, it would have to be like one of them little dogs that people have. Like them little pretty dogs. um, Like a terrier or um, a chihuahua. Something like that. Um, because I, I look at how people treat their dogs on YouTube. And man, I'm like, good gracious. Sorry, y'all. Mm. Y'all, this tea is so good. When I see them on YouTube and stuff like that, I get so excited at how they treat their dogs. And I just think that it's just beautiful. I'm not going to call out no names or anything like that because I, I don't want to... Oh, she didn't talk about my dog, but all the, I just think it's just cute and beautiful. And this one person knows exactly who I'm talking about. Man, I love her dog to pieces. I just love seeing pictures of her dog. It just makes me happy because it's like a dog's life. They have so much personality. Wow. Okay, um... What show, movie, or book you're embarrassed to admit you enjoyed? Mm. Now that's kind of, I don't know. 
Um, I don't know. Let me think on that for a second. Um, let me see. This is so crazy, y'all. I'm trying to get it together. Let me see. Let me see. Let, I, I don't know that I could say because, um, I guess it would be something in the middle of the night. I would have to say that sometimes I get caught up in an infomercial and I'd be so mad that I got caught up in this foolishness and foolery because I don't believe in a lot of the stuff that they promote that says that this is going to do this and this is going to do that. Um, I'm just not a believer in that. But it is one thing I saw last night on an infomercial to be exact. And this was the last question. But it was this... um exercise machine and I'm so mad I'm gonna have to like kind of google things to try to come up with it but it was something that you sit on your bed with or you sit in a chair and you do this with it and it was some. it didn't really go into too much details about what it was but y'all it had the audacity to say that it was two payments of $19.95 for this workout thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really would like to have that so that I could, you know, um, do it live. I would be the test person to um, sponsor this thing and see if it actually, actually works. If it says that you never have to go to a gym anymore. So I would have to say that... Um, um, the next question, I have just a couple of more, two more questions. What is my favorite car? <sighs> well, they don't make this car anymore, so I had to upgrade some. But I have two. You all, I am so in love with the Ford Expedition. Top of the line, leather interior, I always wanted like that tan interior, so that's definitely on my bucket list. And also, my favorite car is a Lexus or a top-of-the-line Mercedes-Benz. I've always wanted one. I was never able to afford one, but I know that, speaking in existence, that one day I will probably have one. And the last question is, what type of house do you like? Oh, y'all. When you've come up poor to the radiators and the wall, I mean, the radiators and the radiators have to be drained. And um, you got to open up the window. Y'all, I would like to have, and I know y'all might say, this girl is really in a fantasy world. But let me take another sip, y'all. Because I got to spill the tea. Mm. Y'all, this tea is so good. I would like to have a two-level house, but it's more like a loft house where you have like five or six steps that just get you to the next level. And... I want it to like be a wing, like maybe downstairs um, could be like the guest room um, and probably a Lexus room. But that whole upstairs would belong to me. And I would like to have the biggest bathtub I could get because as you can see, I am a big girl. Even though I'm working on getting smaller and healthy, I still want that room and comfort. Um, I don't want my t my sides to touch nothing. I want it to be a spa. Um, I want it to be diamonds, pearls and diamonds all over that just glitter. Um, I want the bathtub to have those neon lights in it. So whatever color I'm thinking about or I'm feeling the mood for, um, I want that because I think it's like calming. I want to have a sitting section upstairs. I want to have this huge, gigantic bed, a walk-in closet. Um, I want the flat screen. I just need one um, on my wall. Um, and then on the other side, 
I want a gym. <laughs> I want my own personal gym um, so I can work out and do what I got to do. Um, then also in the bathroom, I need a big um, shower um, because not everybody wants to take a bath every day. But I'm like, after I do these workouts that I'm going to be doing, y'all, I'm going to need a shower and a bath and some more stuff, okay? So that's what my dream house would be. And then downstairs, I want my kitchen... Y'all, I want my kitchen to be, because I've never had a lavish kitchen. Never, ever, ever. I don't want the stove where the oven is underneath. I want all of that separate. I want to have two stoves so, you know, when holiday time come, you can use them both and, you know, get that cooking time process going a little bit faster. I want my kids' rooms to be, like, nice-sized rooms, um... So that they can organize and do whatever their way. So that ends this Q&A with It's Your Girl, Boss Lady Lexi. She is signing out and she'll see you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to be notified. Give this video a thumbs up. And leave a positive comment in the comment section. Thank you all. Bye.